Hi, my name is Usaya, and today I've teamed up with Licked to talk to you guys about good practices for using music in your videos. Now, of course, the first thing you have to do when putting music into one of your videos is choose the right song. And a mistake that I see a lot of beginners doing when they first start putting music in their videos is choosing the wrong song for the job. For instance, if the tone of your video is really relaxed and slow, you shouldn't put death metal into the mix. Rather than supporting the actual content of the video, it will just distract your viewers. So make sure the song that you pick matches the tone of your video. Another factor to consider is whether the song has lyrics. If you have any dialogue in your video, it's really important that you choose an instrumental track, because the lyrics will distract the viewer from the actual dialogue that you want them to hear. Alright, once you've chosen a song appropriate to your video, it's important when you go to edit it to make sure you don't overuse the song. It's very tempting in the beginning just to loop your song underneath your entire video and call it a day, but just putting music under everything isn't always the best idea. A great example of this is actually a recent tutorial video I made for Licked. If you look at the timeline, I've only used music in the intro, outro, and then during transitions. This way, I'm using music to emphasize important landmarks in the video, rather than just using it as white noise beneath the entire thing. Now to show you guys some more technical aspects of editing music inside Final Cut Pro, I created this very serious example video. Pigeons. Truly mysterious creatures. What are they? What are they not? Where do they live and where might you never find them? Hello, I'm Ivan Smarty Pants, and today we find out the history behind these truly sinister creatures. I can't, I can't, I can't. All right, that was anything but serious, but let's go ahead and jump into the timeline so I can show you guys a few things that I always do when editing music. So the first thing I wanna cover is making sure your audio levels are correct. And what I mean by audio levels is making sure your ratio of dialogue volume to music volume is correct. My dialogue is sitting around negative six, and my music is sitting around negative 20 to negative 15. So I have at least a 10 decibel difference between my dialogue and music. But it's also important to make sure you don't keep it that volume throughout the entire music track. Only under the dialogue do you want it to be softer. So during an intro or outro or B-roll, it can be a normal level. You only want it to go down when it's underneath dialogue. So in this example, you can see I've set a couple audio keyframes to animate the volume down below when the audio comes in. To do this in Final Cut Pro, just select your track and then hit Option K. That will create a new keyframe, which you can set either by dragging the keyframe up and down or by manually typing in a number. Then go a little bit further where your dialogue starts, add another keyframe, and then lower that down to whatever it needs to be at. Now it will animate those values to smoothly transition into the lower volume. You also want to make sure you have a smooth transition from when the audio first comes in and leaves even if it's abrupt, and I'll show you what I mean. First off, to add a fade to your music, you can grab this little handlebar on the left and drag it over. You can do the same thing on the right. However, over here, you can see we want it to be a very abrupt stop because it's kind of the comedy of the edit. However, if we just didn't add a fade, this is what you would hear. When that volume cuts out, you hear a very distinct pop, and you definitely don't want your viewers to hear that. So make sure even when you have a very abrupt audio end, you add just a little bit of fade at the end so it very quickly ducks out. It will seem sudden, but you won't get the pop. By the way, if you're a creator and you need music for your videos, you should really check out Licked. They have a library full of chart music made by actual musicians for you to use and license in your videos. And your first song is free, so click the link in the video description to learn more. Now there is one more thing I like to do to my music when putting it underneath dialogue. Most dialogue sits around the 1250 hertz area on the audio spectrum. So what I do is remove those frequencies from my music so the dialogue can be more clearly heard. To do that inside of Final Cut Pro, we can use the built-in channel EQ effect. Go ahead and drag that onto your music track, and then click this little button to the right of channel EQ in the inspector. This will open the interface to control the EQ. If you don't understand what EQ is or what all these numbers mean, don't worry about that. You can still follow this step-by-step step and get the same result. But the basic idea is that to the left side of this window, you have your lower frequencies, and to the right, you have your higher frequencies. So if you hit this little analyzer button down here, it will actually show you what frequencies are in your song. So what we wanna do is choose one of these points. I'll just do the green one here and align it to around at 1250 hertz. You can actually type in 1250 if you want. And then we want to drag it down to remove that frequency from our song. I usually use about negative 20 decibels, but you can of course adjust that depending on the song. You can also use the third number down here to affect how many frequencies are affected by this adjustment. So I usually set it to 0.75. So if you just want to copy my numbers, you can do that. But you can also experiment that and play around with whatever you think will work best for your song. 
Now, if you play a song with that adjustment turned on and off, you can hear the difference of how it sort of cut a little shelf in that frequency range, and that is where our dialogue is gonna shine through. Once you've got that adjustment where you like it, I recommend you save it as an effects preset so you can use it on future projects. When you need to transition out of dialogue and into B-roll, I recommend you blade that music track and disable that channel EQ under the B-roll. Then you can make them overlap a little bit and add a little transition fade. That way you'll hear the song as it's intended underneath the B-roll. And that is how I edit music inside of Final Cut Pro. Be sure to subscribe to Lick Tutorials if you're interested in seeing more content like this in the future. And if you're looking for great music to use in your videos, check out the link in the video description to Lick's website where they have a huge library of music that you can license for your videos. I'm Josiah, thanks for watching.